Hey, Professor Twining here. I'm at the Wolf Hill Forest Preserve today in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I came here because there are a number of vernal pools on this conservation land, and I wanted to see if there was any evidence that amphibians had started moving towards the pools to breed. Now, some of you might be wondering what exactly is a vernal pool? Well, a vernal pool is a depression in the land that fills up with water for several months out of the year, and then it dries up over the warm summer months. Species that live in these vernal pools have to be adapted for these periods of dryness that come about every summer. Now these amphibians that we're seeing here today, they have a life history strategy that involves living part of their life in the water and part of their life on land. Their eggs are laid in water, and when the eggs hatch, the larvae live in the water while the pool is wet, and they undergo metamorphosis. Then they emerge from the pool when the pool starts to dry up in the summer, and they live most of their life in the forest. On the other hand, fairy shrimp that live in these vernal pools have a different type of adaptation. They lay eggs that are resistant to drying. And so they live in the vernal pool while it's wet, and as it starts to dry up, they mate, they lay their eggs in the bottom of the vernal pool, and they stay there and wait for conditions to be right to hatch again. I'm out here with my camera in the middle of the vernal pool, and I am just surrounded by wood frogs. Most of the ones that I'm seeing are male wood frogs. Probably just started coming down last night or this morning. And they're in position, calling, and waiting for the females to arrive. Females will probably come later tonight or maybe even tomorrow when the rains come. But right now there's just males everywhere. There are hundreds of them in this vernal pool and they're all calling, trying to attract a mate. Well, now that I've checked things out, I think I'm going to come back tonight. Certainly the male wood frogs are here, and the females are likely to be migrating later on tonight and tomorrow night. So I'm going to come back out, and we're going to take a look and see if we can see the wood frogs starting the breeding process, and maybe we'll even see some spotted salamanders in their spermatophores tonight. Well, I was out here earlier today at Wolf Hill Forest Preserve, and I noticed that the wood frog males had made their way to the vernal pool and were starting to chorus. And you can hear that chorus behind me here in the dark tonight. I decided to come out here at night because amphibian activity is usually greater in the evening hours. And sure enough, the wood frogs are calling. And I did see a few spotted salamanders, although there are not very many in the vernal pool as of yet. All right, so this is a female wood frog. Uh, collected her over here on the side of the vernal pool so I could show her to you. She's, right now she's in a plastic Ziploc bag. But if you could see this bulge right here on the side, those are eggs and she is coming down to the vernal pool to lay her eggs. And uh, I'll put her back in there in just a minute. But uh, I just wanted to show her to you so you can see what a female looks like. She's got a pinkish color, although in this light it might seem a little more brown. Uh, she's got the black or dark mask behind the eyes that's indicative of a wood frog. Maybe now you can see the bulge of eggs on her side that she's getting ready to lay. I'm going to get her back into the vernal pool so she can find her fella and she can go about laying eggs. Beautiful animal, wood frog, Lithobates sylvaticus. So I have here a couple of male wood frogs. 
But you can see that the male wood frog is smaller than the female. It's darker in color. So these guys are kind of on station out there in the vernal pool. And they were uh, quiet when I was by them, but they were calling for sure, just like the ones you can hear in the background here. They are calling for a female, and the females are just starting to arrive. I saw one a little bit earlier. These uh, male wood frogs are calling to attract a mate, and when they find her, they will grasp her in a position called amplexus. This frog right here is exhibiting a posture that they use to um, warn off other males. And because there's another male in here, I suspect this might be the first male that I put in the bag. And he's telling the other one, uh-uh, this is my bag for right now. And uh, that posture, that upright posture, is one that they use as a sign of territoriality, of dominance, and so on. Okay, so that's a male wood frog in my hand. And uh, he is, you can see there's uh, some bands on his forearm. Uh, I've seen that on a lot of males. He's darker in color than the female was. Uh, much darker brown compared to the female, which was a more pinkish orange color. You can barely see the um, mask behind the eye and he's got the dorsolateral ridges on the back. Much smaller than the female as well and very very active. He wants to be out there breeding so I'm gonna let him go. Look at this beautiful little male spotted salamander that I found making my way back to my camera equipment. He's just strolling along, trying to get down to the vernal pool, and uh, he wants to find a spot to lay his spermatophores down and then wait for a beautiful young lady to show up. And then he will court her, and if she likes what she sees, then she will sit on his spermatophore and will fertilize her eggs, and then she'll lay her eggs on a blade of grass or a twig or a branch or something like that that's in the vernal pool. Now these spotted salamanders have a gray to brown body with two rows of yellow spots going down their back and the pattern of those spots is unique for every spotted salamander. I'm going to get him back down to the vernal pool so he can uh, Go out and find his way. I'm going to give him a little lift, a little helping hand. Coming up next on Vernal Pool Chronicles. All right, well, I'm going to head down to the water now and I'm going to get my camera set up. I'm going to get in the water and I'm going to see what's going on, what the amphibians are doing. <laughs> 